So it's very clear after decades of brain research that addiction is a biological disease, that it does result from changes in the brain. It's not a mystery. Uh, it was a long time to uh, understand at least that this was true. Many people thought addiction was a failure of character, a weak personality. All of these things uh, sound great from the outside, but when you look at somebody who might have a brain that's wired differently, that is in a diseased state, is it really fair to say when, that they have a weak personality when they're not working with the same biology that you or I uh, may have? Uh, it's like saying that somebody, uh, you know, has a uh, weak heart, be, you know, and it's somehow their fault because of their biology. Um, so we now know that this is true, uh, that addiction is the result of changes in the brain. Um, treating it, how to reverse those changes, that's the focus of, of much of the future work. Um, it does take a level of effort on the part of the addict. We can't treat somebody who does not want to be treated. We can't treat somebody who does not seek uh, an end to their alcoholism or their drug addiction. They come, and people don't realize this, most people that relapse to drug use have tried to quit their addiction many, many times. They do from, from a, a cognitive standpoint, from an understanding, want to stop using drugs.